so let's start um first we'll understand the basic concepts and uh, what are the different functions why we uh, will be learning power bi why power bi is very important um so all of this is very important because um when you uh, talk to anyone and you explain what because most of us we don't know about power bi you might have heard a lot about excel you might have heard about r programming also python also but power bi uh, is a tool which we do not hear uh, a lot about this right so why it is important and it's very interesting also so first of all let us understand what is bi in power bi that bi stands for business intelligence all right so business intelligence basically refers to all the different types of processes tools which are used to analyze the data sets which generally the businesses use right so what we do we use excel we use python we use r we use sql to manipulate data to analyze to derive some insights you know but whenever we want to present this data huge data sets to our clients or maybe to our senior managers to the directors they do not have so much of time do you think a board of director of itc will have one hour of time for you to explain all these small small things no they they just want the key highlights the key findings right and they do not want that big huge data presentation from you what they want is different simple charts and using those graphical representation how you can simplify even the biggest of data sets once you simplify in form of a maybe pie chart maybe a table column chart bar chart whatever it is there with there are multiple different charts that we are learning we will be learning so that helps the board of directors to derive insights right you can also prepare dashboards we'll be also learning how you how to create multiple uh, charts in a single slide and make it very interactive so when i click on a button all the different charts will be changed together at once so th these are all uh, used when you want to present your data and at the end of the day you always have to convince your client or maybe your manager or maybe a some senior director right so all of this can be done using the uh, different graphical representations so th this is also known as dss which is decision support system bi is a power bi or bi business intelligence power bi is a tool where we'll be using that as a me medium of business intelligence so bi is a descriptive analysis of how business is performing today what changes is required based on the performance report from so many years now business intelligence it helps us to uh, the it helps us to perform these different tasks so the very first is performance management now when you can observe the sales volume the average price the average sales uh, of a particular company over the years across different regions right across different seasons so you can understand that which season which region is giving me the highest profitability which region needs to be worked upon which region needs to be shut shut down completely and we do not want to run our business in a particular region because it's a loss making region so all these things you can do just not by looking at numbers by just looking at the graphs right and it also helps you in analytics so when you want for example this we are talking in terms of business for example if i say that what affects the mortality rate of a particular country there are so many factors you can present it in a form of a data and you can analyze that which parameter has the greatest impact on the mortality of a particular country a particular region it also helps us in predictive modeling what is predictive modeling so when i say predictive modeling it's about basically forecasting the future sales trends and accordingly you will see that we uh, companies they maintain certain capacity for example uh, take up any uh, car manufacturing company right so what they do is they will have to predict what will be what will be the sales volume for my coming uh, financial year and accordingly they will 
टेक द इनपुट्स इन टू अकाउंट एंड अकॉर्डिंगली दे विल मैनेज देयर इनपुट्स दैट इज हाउ दे मैनेज देयर अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंग्स लाइक कॉस्ट ऑफ स्टोरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ यू नो टेकिंग दोज इनपुट्स ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर डन देन वी हैव डेटा एंड टेक्सट माइनिंग सो डेटा एंड टेक्सट माइनिंग इज रिगरसली डन इन योर एस क्यू एल इन एक्स एल बट ह्योर इज वेल इन पावर बी आई वील सी दैट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज पावर क्वेरी विच विल हेल्प अस टू यू नो इवन यू नो ट्रांसफॉर्म द डेटा सेट्स दैट वी हैव सो वॉट आर द डिफरेंट फीचर्स ऑफ बी आई दैट वी शुड हैव टू मेक अ पर्टिकुलर टूल सूटेबल for business intelligence so first of all it should be fast query solving it should be very quick it cannot be very uh, you know uh, time taking because firstly why are we doing visualization to save time right so at the end of the day it should be very fast there should be a real time analysis so if you connect it to a real time data set for example number of deaths in our country it should real time in a real time it should change right then identify the opportunities so it should be very interactive for us to identify any you know changes in the data if for example i tell there is a region that is making a loss then not necessarily that the sales volume is low maybe because the cost is very high sales is very high but cost is also very high so how to read so all these things you can only understand by visualizations it will help you in reduce the risk it will help you to understand the business prospect of a particular and helps you at the end very important to make decisions right so data what is data visualization it is basically presentation of data in form of different charts and graphs it helps you to communicate the complexity of a data in a very beautiful pictorial manner that is your data visualization so what is the benefit of data visual uh, visualization the very first thing and very important thing is to faster decision making as i mentioned that board of directors is not not having entire day for you right they just give, will give you a half an hour and in that half an hour they will actually end up making a good decision so through charts again it helps you in better analysis where my company is uh, going good in which particular region it is performing uh, really nice to understand and very important point is to understand the trend and pattern and relationship between different variables right so if i see that there is a change even a slightest change in the cost of transportation how it is affecting my sales volume people across all levels in the company can use the insights so it should not be very difficult not very complex it should be easily understandable and you do not need a hard coding for the this this does not power bi does not involve any kind of coding it is simple use of different features and simple use of different tools right so after this uh, why power bi what is power bi power bi is basically a data visualization and at the same time business intelligent tools that convert the data from different sources we can have data from sql we can have data from python we can have data from our script all of these data can be converted into dashboards using power bi now power bi again what are the advantages real time trends we can see over here it helps you in auto auto searching for example if you just want to search for a particular region in a chart you can do that very easily it gives you advanced level analytics which we'll be seeing using the real life data sets and it is enterprise ready what is enterprise ready you can straight away take up power bi desktop install it uh, on your desktop in your offices and you can straight away use it you don't have to do any different any setup for it it's free to use for everyone now these are the top key uh, benefits for using power bi so we have superior accessibility uh it can be accessible in all the different platforms um uh then it's it it is getting continuously updated so for example if you're using power bi today if you're using it maybe after one year you will see that they have made lots of updates so last one year also they've made lots of different up updates if you're using any older versions you might not uh, you might see that there are quite a few differences which are there there is no upfront uh, cost it is free to use for everyone you can just install and download um it uh, quickly it's powerful connectivity is there you can share your files with multiple people in your organization so all these are different uh, very important features which makes power bi a very good tool 
so what are the different components these are the different we'll be learning about uh, power pivot query view and it's very very interesting you will see how without using codes we're actually creating these multiple dashboards so these are the different building blocks we'll be learning how the visualizations are there how to manipulate with data sets how to create reports how to build dashboards a single page dashboards and tiles which are basically single visualization in a particular dashboard so all these different uh, blocks are there so this was a basic 10 minutes theory to understand to give you an idea that what power bi is all about why it has become so important and why it is very interactive and a good interesting tool to use so now what i want you all uh, to do is quickly just open up power bi you all might have installed it power bi desktop so you just search for it and you can open power bi desktop if you all have any uh, problem in between please just let me know by raising your hands all right okay so here uh, they ask you to collaborate and share with different people uh, we do not want to do this for timing so we'll just click on the cross button this is how your power bi will be looking like and this is what we'll be using for coming two days um, the very first thing is uh, we'll be installed uh, we'll be getting different data sets over here and analyzing it before moving ahead uh, let's use a sample data set which already exists in the power bi tool um, so and as i explained you all in the installation video as well so you can click on this try sample data set over here you can click on this try sample data set over here and then it will uh, ask you to load the sample data so you can click on load on sample data it will take some time so please be very patient if your laptops are slow then it will take some more time to uh, it get downloaded and loaded in your um, power bi now i'll click on load do not click on anything else just click on this sheet so there are two sheets i want to use the financials sheet click on it <coughs> and click on load and click on load the moment you click on load it will take some time again please wait for it to get loaded there are 700 rows which have been loaded in my uh, power bi now so as we all can see uh, these are the different tabs here we have the fields option here we have the visualizations option this is the most important pane of your or tab of your entire power bi uh, window now here in the fields section when you click on this button all the different columns which are there in your this particular file financials will be displayed over here if you want to get a excel view of it or a tabular view of it you can click on this data button on the left side you can click on this data button over here rishab screen magic okay so you can click on this uh, data button over here and we see that we have the entire uh, tabular view right so let's go through different uh, columns we have segment you can also click on this button to filter down so for example we have enterprise government small businesses so if you want you can just select maybe um, let me just select government so we have all the data which is related to government over here all the financials then we have the different countries so it's a <clears throat> different countries are there then we have the products so again if you want you can uh, filter down which product do you want to see discounts given so there are high low medium none discount given units sold all these are the different columns which are given to us right unit uh, manufacturing price is given 
if you want you can also uh, for example i want all the units sold which are maybe um, great uh, i just wanted to maybe sorted in a particular manner so you can just sort it in a descending order also so we see that government has sold in the united states how many uh, units have been sold these are the total units and this is the highest number of units sold right so similarly you can have different types of filters you can have uh, in all these different columns so it's basically just to analyze the data set which is given over here here uh, if you want you can click on this get the average uh, sales also so this gives me the average sales in the properties section you have summarization on the basis of average right so all these basic things which we can do in excel can also be done over here so if you want you can also change the uh, decimal numbers to whole numbers or maybe fixed maybe two decimals you can take so this is how you can change the data type from this particular part as well uh, we'll be dealing with this more when we'll be learning power query it actually helps you to transform and uh, change the data as well but here we'll just give you a quick snapshot as to what we can also do using power bi how we can change the different columns and view the different columns just by looking at the data clear right please try this all of you try doing this okay so once this is done we can again go back to the report section over here we can again go back to the report section this was how an existing table uh, in in the sample data can look like now if you want to input your own data set which will happen very few times that you will input your own data set but how to do that we'll have to click on this in the home tab in the data section we have to click on this enter data button so when you click on this enter data button it helps you it opens this particular table and it helps you to uh, create your own data set so for example i am creating my own data set i am writing region over here uh, click on this plus button to add new columns so you can write product just double click on it and you can uh, type the column headings so here i can write sales volume and maybe here i can write sales price okay now you can give just the rows uh, quickly so this is north click on tab button click on tab to move to different um different cells then i'll just quickly fill it with maybe 150 sales price then here we have again let me just write south just randomly uh fill in few rows okay so this is how a simple data you can create on your own and you can change the name of the table as well so let me write sample or let me give it a name of demo data okay you can give any name you can give any name you want generally uh, do not Ha uh, give any spaces in between but if you want you can no no issues in giving spaces in the name of the table and then we'll click on load <clears throat> and then we'll click on load button okay so when i click on the load button again it will take a few minutes and few seconds and see we have the demo data over here we have the demo data over here so just click on this arrow again we have the product as you all can see we have region these two we created we also have the sales price and sales volume and we also see a sigma symbol over here sigma symbol stands for summation so we see summation of sales price which we can change later on and then we also have 
the summation of sales volume right so these are the different columns that we created for the values which is your uh, sales price sales volume all these were the values right these were the numbers so they automatically take sum of the numbers which are there right sum of sales sum of sales price this is taken automatically by the power bi right now as you select these columns one by one you will see that all the columns are appearing on the left side this is my visualization tab where we uh, the pane where we'll see all the different visualizations you can adjust the size however when you just increase the size the font size will not increase we'll see how to adjust the font size later on we have product we have region all these are there if you want to change the columns i'll increase the size i'll show you all how to increase the size as, as well if you want to change the uh, ordering of the columns here in the columns side can you all see the columns side over here just you know drag this region on top of product just drag it and put it over here and we see then region is on the left then we have the product then we have the sales and then we have the sales volume all right clear <coughs> okay so this was the basic data table that we have all right demo table just a basic demo table which i you can just rename the sheet by just double clicking on this so this is my sheet where i have created a demo table for you all using the demo data that we have all right let's click on this plus button and it will add a new page it will add a new page over here again let's just collapse demo data just by clicking on this button click on financials now let us try to use this financials data for now because this is a huge data set that we have over here large data set and using this let us try to build a few visualizations all right till here it's done all of you are able to uh, enter the data on your own all right so let me select uh, maybe sales um i can select maybe product country and let me select the product okay so i have selected product country and sales just just click on these buttons and these three are selected and by default what we see over here by default what we see over here is a column chart is a column chart this is because i did not select any type of visualization so it will automatically it has given me a table uh, a column chart over here but now for example i do not want this column chart so i'll just click on it and i'll delete just click on it and press the delete button instead we'll create a table so in this visualization pane in this visualization pane we see multiple can you all see multiple visualizations all these are very very interactive tools i'll for the time being create a table okay this is a table that we are creating now let me again select country sales and product all right to adjust the ordering country product can be in the second column and then we have the sum of sales over here this is done this is done now let us uh, go through different formatting options that we can do using this table go to this uh, format your visual option 
make sure make sure you have clicked on your table see if i click somewhere else if i click somewhere else in the pane then the entire thing will change over here the setup will change so click on the visualization that you have added which is the table for now and then after that we can click on this format your visual we have multiple multiple options over here visual and general so in let's quickly see one by one what all of these mean to us okay all right <coughs> now here in the visual in the style preset we have a default <coughs> style this is the default style of the table if you want you can change it to minimal you can change it to flashy rose so these are the style different style presets which is by default given to us in the power bi anyone anyone just quickly just see how it looks like right condensed anything you can if you want and you can just leave it like this if you do not want anything or you can just change it to default again so this is how you can if you want a quick change of your table you can quickly change it using the style preset if you do not like it you can again maybe if i've changed it to bold header i do not like it i'll just click on the reset to default option and it all the settings will be changed to the default one okay all right after this we have the grid option over here so these are the grids these are the grids okay these are the grid lines can you all see the lines in between these are the horizontal grid lines and these are known as vertical grid lines so by default this is switched on if i just toggle over this button the grid lines will be gone okay so these are the grid lines if you want to change the color of it maybe i'll change it to black now it's visible you can increase the width now it's visible now it's visible to all similarly we have something called as vertical grid lines in the vertical grid lines again this is by default switched off you can switch it on and again you can maybe change the color and if you want you can increase and decrease the width okay after this we have the values so here these values that we see these are very small so even if i adjust it you cannot increase the font size how to increase the font size we can increase it from here we can increase it from here so we we can see that the font size is increasing if you want you can change the you can change the font type as well you can change the font type as well okay all right clear you can change the font you, if you want you can change the text color background of the cells okay so why have they <coughs> given two text colors and two background colors because we have two different types of rows right there is one darker row and there is one lighter row so that lighter row has a white background and this darker shade has a little um bluish color over here gray bluish color so you can change it from here as well right you can change the colors for example i want it to be a different color you can do it in this way what do you mean by text wraps so similar to what we have done in the excel there was something there was an option of wrap text so if you see that all uh, there was some uh, huge text written in one particular cell when i click on the text wrap all of it will fill in a single cell right similarly we have it over here 
so these are all values now column headers once you move to column headers you can do the same thing you can increase the size of the column headers right if you want the text alignment to be centrally aligned you can do that if you may want to make it bold you can do that so this is how you can also change the headers as well give a background color give a text color whatever you want change the uh, font type okay after this the totals so similarly we see a totals row over here can you all see the totals row over here in the total row also you can change the same things how you want this total to look like and if you want to change the uh, this particular total which is written over here if you want to change it to something different you can total sales okay if you want to maybe change it to total sales you can see that it is changing over here by default it gives you total sales all right then we have the specific column so if you want uh, you can also do formatting column wise which is again uh, not very easily possible in excel we can do it but it takes some time so here again we can see if you want to change country so how do you want to you know apply, uh, change the header how do you want to change the values so you can just do it over here you can just click on this apply on header and whatever you change it over here the text color the background color will be applied to your header as well to your um, all the values and everything together right so see when i'm clicking on this apply to header my by default alignment is moving to the left align because here it is left align if i click on this center alignment it will change to center alignment so you can apply it to total you can apply it to header you can apply it to values this we can do maybe in the sum of sales i want a different text color so i can do it see the text color is changing it's changing to blue color right so this we can do for a particular column as well for a single column as well we can change the settings clear yes so just click on this reset to default if you want to change the settings of the columns that we have done so we can also make specific changes to specific columns then we have cell elements so again um apply in what which cell you want to apply the setting to maybe in country you can just click on this uh background color or maybe i'll just please see all of you i'll just select sum of sales i'll just select sum of sa uh, sales and here when i click on this on on button so by default as we all can see what has happened is all the different cells have been highlighted in different colors this is basically known as conditional formatting so how we can perform conditional formatting over here this is sum of sales and when i click on this on button in the background by default all the colors are changing for example i want to change it in a particular manner okay i'll click on this function button conditional formatting click on this button and we have a new window over here just see what it will do to my table please see all of it then uh, you all can try so for example they have selected gradient by default if you want you can select on rules what we can do is maybe we can change the font color so when i click on the font color your font color is changing according to the gradient so what is this gradient option if i just click on this fx so basically if i just select the gradient button in the gradient button values only how should we format the empty values uh you can use any specific color keep it as zero so what they will do is the lowest value the lowest value will be let me just take a red color will be highlighted in a red okay you can use more colors option and you can get a red color from here so it will be highlighted in a red and the highest uh, sales will be highlighted in green so you can just click on more colors and maybe we can select a green color from here and click on okay 
ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड अ मिडल कलर यू कैन ऑल्सो एड अ मिडल कलर यू कैन कीप इट वाइट इफ यू वॉन्ट सो वॉट वी कैन सी ओवर हेयर इज वॉट वी कैन सी ओवर हेयर इज the lowest value is uh, will be displayed in red and the highest value will be displayed in green and all of it will be fading away in this particular manner when i click on okay so we see the green color is meaning it's the highest color it's the highest sales and the red the deepest red will be the lowest sales right so this is how we can use conditional formatting to format our particular column If you want to also change the font colors, it will do it in the same manner. I am changing the background. Data bars. If I click on this data bars option, it will give you just unselect this background color. This data bars basically this is same thing is also there in Excel. Just that here we will just click on the data bars and you get it at once. There you have to create data bars. So we see that wherever this entire in what happens in a data bar is that. it gives you the weightage or the quantity for example this particular cell has the highest sales of 76 lakh 11000 so we see that the bar is almost till the end of the entire cell here we see that the bar is very small so we can see that this is a comparatively smaller sale which is made in a particular mex uh, in the country mexico in a particular region so this is how you can actually adjust your you can use your data bars as well right so conditional formatting this was my conditional formatting and if you want to change the rules we can change it from here all right we will also see how we can do it for average um sales we can do it for minimum sales and all that So, if you want to click on reset to default, it will just reset to default. This is how we perform conditional formatting in the cell elements, right? Then after this, uh, we also have the image height. So, if you want to change this height, we can also change the height of the image from here. Let's move to general. General properties are generally similar to all the different visualizations that we have. So, in the properties section, this gives you some height and width. height and width is height and width of this visualization so if i just change it i'll just quickly decrease the height you can see the height is decreasing of the visualization can you all notice the visualization the height is changing similarly i can change the width position is basically the position of this table in my entire this particular pane this particular page so if i just click on increase the horizontal position we can see it is shifting to the right right you can also just drag it and put it over here when you just drag it and put it over here you can see automatically the horizontal and the vertical axis have changed so this is your horizontal axis position and this is your vertical position so horizontal position we are starting from 287 and vertical is starting from 30 so this is 30 and this is this is 30 this particular position and this is 237 287 but we can also just you know click on the visualization drag it to change right so this is how you change the position then we have the title so do you want the title on top of your table so you just click on on button over here and you can give a nice title so i can give sales as per region okay and we can see the sales as per region title if you want to increase the size you can increase the font size okay make it centrally aligned so this is how you can also add a suitable title to your table again you can make dif give different effects so in the background this entire background has a white color if you want again you can change it to some different colors right which is not required for time being you can increase decrease the transparency level visual border is basically the border of this entire visualization so for just quickly see how it looks like so if i change it to maybe see so what is changing is your this border can you all see this border is there of the visualization so we can add a good nice border to the visualization when we have more than one visualization in a single uh table
you have to click on this button and you have to write a table uh, write a title this is not changing okay so this is not changing why because uh, you have to go to the setting and we'll see later on you have to give nice so in maybe heading 2 for example there are some default settings done for example if you have used ms word you will see that in the uh, page layout tab you have heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 you have subtitle all these options are given and when you click on that button your line automatically changes so similarly it will have happen over here also you just have to change the settings right so now we it's not required because we can change it directly from here you can change the font you can change the uh, font size font type but this is default settings so default you can click on norm, uh, heading 2 and whatever heading 2 default settings are there it will be changed over here right so then we have the text color ba background all these are there uh, in the header icons in the header icons so these are the headers these are the headers how you want to uh, present it what do you want to change the background how do you want to change the border so you can also change the border these are basically the header icons over here we will learn about this so this is known as focus mode when I click on the focus mode see your table has been now focused and you can just visualize all the different data values quickly from here and then again go back to the report this is the filter button which we will be using later on now we haven't added any filters so we cannot actually see any filter so these are all the icons these are all header icons that we can see over here after this we have again what types of icon do you want again we'll see this later on so these are the different uh, visualizations just click on these three buttons and click on collapse all categories so for all the categories to close then we have all text all text is basically for example if I'm sharing this particular Power BI file to someone else and I want to give a quick overview that is to what I'm presenting so I can add a text a description over here and I can share this file when you are uh, sharing it offline to someone they when they'll open this visualization they'll be uh, able to see when they will click on this particular chart they will be able to see that description and what description you have given okay so this is how these are the different features that we can use uh, in these are the different uh, filtering options or these filtering options are specific to the table these general options will be there for almost all the visualizations that we'll be doing in the visual section these are specific to a table we'll see how it will change for a column chart for a bar chart all of it are more or less same so if you know if you just uh, try and work out two three visualizations you will be able to work on other visualization and the uh, formatting on your own right so this is the basic formatting that we see over here any doubt till now please uh, check and let me know Hmm. Click on the table ek bar and in the cell elements, yahan pe select maybe sum of sales and then we'll get the data bars. If you have selected something else, for example, I've selected product. In product, it's not. Can you just uh, can you can you say that any one particular product is more valuable or maybe it is greater than or less than the other? No. So you have to select sum of sales and then only data bars is only for the values, for the numbers, not for the text. Huh? Click on this button, focus mode. Uh, sorry, this button, focus mode. Okay, back to report. Okay, now I was talking about average sales. Remember, I was talking about average sales. So to get average sales, what we'll do is uh, just go to this particular button click on this button again move go to your data this is basically where you can add your data to the visual so now what I will do is I will add one more sum of sales I'll just drag the sales here so we have one more column for sum of sales now here instead of sum of sales I'll just right click and click on average this is what I was doing the moment I click on average 
द मोमेंट आई क्लिक ऑन एवरेज वन सेकेंड द मोमेंट आई क्लिक ऑन एवरेज वी हैव एवरेज ऑफ सेल्स गिवन ओवर हियर सो वी कैन से इन मेक्सिको इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट वी हैड दिस वॉज द एवरेज सेल्स मेड दिस वॉज द एवरेज सेल्स मेड नाउ दिस इज नॉट मेकिंग मच ऑफ सेंस वेन वी डो नॉट हैव द डेट कॉलम राइट बिकॉज आई डो नॉट नो दैन वेन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेल वॉज मेड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट सो आई एड दिस डेट इज वेल Just click on this date. Just single click on this date, and your date is added. But date is added towards the end. And can you all see one very interesting thing? When we were viewing this particular data over here, when we were viewing this particular table here in the date, here in the date column, this date column. Can you see the date column? We have the entire date first December two thousand fourteen. This date has been split up into four columns. We have year, we have quarter, we have month, and we have day. So what they have done by default is that they have split the entire date into a date hierarchy, where we have the year, then we have the quarter, then we have the month, and then we have the day. Right. so let me just drag this date and put it on top so we have date over here we have the date over here if i want to remove this date hierarchy just right click just right click on the date just right click on the date and just click on this date button instead of date hierarchy just click on this date and we have a single date column i've removed the date hierarchy I've removed the date hierarchy. I just click on this date, and again when I click on date hierarchy, we have the date hierarchy again with us. What we can do over here is we can remove the quarter, month, day, and we just have the year with us. This also we can do. This helps you in your setting what type of data, what type of table you want. Clear? Tell me. Okay. If you want to get the date hierarchy again, you just have to select the date column again, and you have the date hierarchy. Let me show you one very interesting thing now. I'll remove all the other things. I just want to keep the date. So let me show you a very interesting feed, uh, thing over here. What I will do is right click on this visualize. Please see, right click on this visualization and click on copy. Click on copy visual, and then in order to paste the visual, in order to paste the visual, just uh, just uh, press Control V. just press control v and you see that the same visualization has been pasted over here the same visualization has been pasted over here okay now why we have two tables here what is the benefit of having the two same tables when i click on any one particular year for example i'm clicking on this particular row please see what will happen when i click on this row in the second table we can see only this specific row which is france this was the product this is the sum of sales this is the average sale so this is how also you can and for example here we are having two tables we can have one table and one column chart which we will see in our next class so we can have one table uh, one table and one or maybe column chart or a cluster chart or maybe a pie chart so whenever i just click on any of the rows it will focus that particular row for us over here clear is it clear we can also paste the same visualization in some other 
tab. So I'll just click on Control V, and we have this same visualization pasted with the same settings in the next tab. Clear? So this was how we build a table in the this particular table visualization. Clear? Any doubt? Any doubt? If it's clear, please write a yes quickly. Okay, so if I click on any one particular maybe item, we can just visualize it over here. We can also go row, uh, date wise, like for a particular quarter, for a particular month, which we'll see in the next class. And we can use the date hierarchy very nicely. Please, if it's clear, write a yes quickly.